Meanwhile, a political group trying to elect pro-choice candidates says it will spend, quote, tens of millions of dollars to make sure Vice President Kamala Harris stays in office. Joining us now, News Nation's Blake Berman. Blake, what does this kind of investment mean? It is a lot of money, uh, Natasha, heading the way of the Vice President Kamala Harris, specifically to boost her image, boost her standing with the public. It comes from uh, Emily's List. That is a uh, group that supports Democratic candidates, pro-choice women. The reporting here comes from Politico, in which they say that uh, Emily's List will send tens of millions of dollars uh, to back uh, Kamala Harris, and, as they put it, that nothing is off the table at this point in time. Uh, there is a bit of a connection here, by the way, as the head of that group was also a senior advisor to Harris's presidential campaign back in 2020. Emily's List has done polling in the recent weeks, battleground states among voters who are Democrats or lean that way. Here's what they say among their findings. They say, quote, Vice President Harris's uh, fight to reduce gun violence and her leadership in fighting for women's reproductive rights are especially persuasive to voters who move toward her. Black voters put a high priority on her work to promote racial justice. But the Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley last week started to lay out another argument, putting in the forefront Joe Biden's age, the president's age, and then with it, uh, putting Kamala Harris, the vice president, front and center in the 2024 election as well. Here's what uh, Nikki Haley had to say, quote, if they think it's going to be President Biden, a vote for President Biden is actually a vote for President Harris. We are running against Kamala Harris. Make no bones about it. Here was the White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre when asked about that uh, last week. The vice president has been a partner, uh, has been a partner to this president. You've heard him say that multiple times. Uh, when it comes to difficult decision, when it comes to important decisions that matter to the American people, this is something that this is these, those are issues that the president has talked to with the vice president. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.